this is Sean from the Field of Dreams Farm. Uh, I'm doing a project this week, um, mounting a snow plow on the um, John Deere 625cc gator. And uh, in order to do that, uh, John Deere gators have a um, receiver hitch right in the front where you can mount a lot of accessories down in here. So there's a regular standard square receiver hitch that'll take a uh, one of these square receiver hitches right here. So I, what I did is, I knew I needed about six inches drop on the front end of this to hook up to this Polaris plow, because this is not uh, designed to go on the gator, but you can retrofit these to anything if you have access to a welder and a, maybe a machine shop. Uh, anyway, I got this six inch drop down to get it to the right level that I need. You can see this has got a good six inch drop right there, and that'll get me in the right position so I can get a, uh, a bar welded on this section here that'll be able to go into the quick change mounts on the um, John Deere plow. So this fits right into the front end. I'll show you quickly. Right down in the front here, you see this little square cutout. All right, so we've gone ahead and mounted our receiver hitch for this plow. Um, you can see right here, the uh, what I just described in the previous section was the uh, square drop down receiver hitch. Um, you can see in there that the pin goes right through the hole that goes through the rectangular section of the square uh, receiver hitch hole. And then um, you put this clevis pin on there to snap it into place to secure the pin so it doesn't slide out while you're working. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is welding a piece of one inch bar right on this curved section, probably cut off the end of this and uh, put some gussets on the sides to strengthen that up so it'll be able to handle the torque for the snow plow. Um, the next thing I had to purchase was a uh, electric winch, and uh, I picked up this electric winch uh, at a supply store up the street. This is a 35 pound, 3500 pound Badland winch. Okay, I got uh, the bracket pretty well in position there. I had to drill uh, these three holes uh, to get the bolts in there to mount the bracket for the winch. Um, just a just a quick little trip trick here I uh, wrap some um, duct tape around my finger so the sticky side is facing out and uh, in order to get those nuts in the inside there you can stick the nut right on there and put your finger up through the hole and uh, tighten that screw on there and it all right we got the winch installed and uh, took a little time I had to drill a couple of mounting holes and uh, ran all the wiring under the hood uh, right up through the center console and then down into the battery so you can see the solenoid right there, the wire cluster going into it, and then it fishes down through the console. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark, but right there you can see all the main cables coming down through the center console. You just got to, um, got the seat back on there, and I just have to put the center strip back in, and then just lock down the uh, toggle switch for the controls, and uh, we should be pretty well set to go. All right, here we go. We got the uh, one-inch bar. We got it welded on to the uh, to the tongue, the receiver hitch tongue, and uh, so we put added two gussets on uh, on the sides here, one on each side, about uh, two and a half, three inches <clears throat> this way and this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. That way, everything is pretty well strengthened uh, behind the bar here, where a lot of the stress will be distributed. And then on the front end of this uh, tongue piece, I cut out, cut off the excess uh, piece that was sticking out in front. Uh, so I cut it off flush with the bar. So uh, that way, on the plow section down here, I didn't get into any interference issues because initially, when I fitted on there, it was kind of banging into that uh, section that was down here before. So now that's not a problem anymore. I mean, we're ready to mount the plow onto the vehicle now. So we got the plow hooked up onto the gator now, and uh, just works pretty good. Uh, just give you a quick demo of it. It's up and down. You can see the thing moving pretty good. It moves pretty quick. So that should work fine. Uh, it's got a manual tilt on it, which will be nice too. You can just set it. Sometime I'd like to put a hydraulic one on. Or an electric actuator would be better, just so you can do the uh, tilt 
without having to get out and manually move it. But for now it'll work great. Looking forward to this thing once the snow gets here. Alright, that'll do it.